Is this arguably one of the most important games or biggest games for the Lionesses with a chance to reach a final at home? Absolutely, it's um, definitely one of the biggest games in, in recent times and uh, I, I think they've got every chance of, of going through. Compared to previous England teams, what I've noticed is the pure self-belief from the players, from this set of, set of players, from Serena Weigman. Now, when they were 1-0 down against Spain, the players said afterwards they knew that they would win. That just shows the immense self-belief amongst this group. Absolutely, and, and um, I've, I've said all along in this competition that Serena's got a great squad of players there and her back, backroom staff are second to none, having met them at St George's Park. So there's great belief there and, and belief in Serena and, and what she's trying to get the, the ladies to do. So I, I think there's, uh, they'll, they'll just go on and on and, and keep that belief within the team, yeah. What else has impressed you about, about the team? It's just the the way they're together as a team. They're they're all like one big happy family, to be quite honest. And and they were like that when I met them a few months ago. Um, everybody gets on with everybody. There's there's no no one's ever left out. And uh, and and respect for Serena and her, her backroom staff. And and I think that comes out on the pitch as well. And the atmosphere when the second goal went in in extra time was just phenomenal, wasn't it? Oh yeah, it's. Uh, unbelievable um you know I, I was lucky enough to uh, be there and, and be at Old Trafford for the first game the, the atmosphere at these at these games are, is is unbelievable and and the support for the the women's team the England team is is uh, incredible it, it's really great to see so with that win England have got through to the semi-finals against Sweden another very good side this will be a tough test so what will the team have to do to be to be wary of and what will they have to do to beat Sweden? Yeah, I, I think that they will treat them with the respect that they deserve. Um, we, Sweden's got a good record even from when I was playing against the England team, but a um, completely different situation now and the uh, going back to what Serena's done with her squad, you know, the, the feet's firmly on the ground and uh, I think if they can make a bit quicker start than what they have done in a couple of the games, um, not let Sweden into the game, that, that will be a, a great thing to uh, happen on the night. But I've got every confidence that they'll go on and, and win, to be quite honest. That's good to have some confidence. I'm looking forward to it myself. And of course, we don't want to put too much pressure on the Lionesses. But where do you see women's football going? Of course... We've seen better attendances in the Women's Super League. We're getting better TV rights deals. All the best players want to come here. If they were to go on and reach the final like you think they will and potentially even win it, what will that mean for the game in this country? It will be incredible. I mean, the game's just going from strength to strength, to be quite honest. You know, from, from when we got to the final in 84, how the game has improved and gone on and on is, is incredible. And it's great to see and it'll be good for grassroots football, you know, to, to have the Lionesses win this tournament and, and to show them as role models for the younger girls that are coming through to play football. It, that will be tremendous and it, it can only go on and on in this country and worldwide, to be quite honest, because it's been such a great tournament. It certainly has. You t just touched upon it there. Back in 1984, you captained... England to the final of the first ever uh, women's European Championships. Looking ahead now, what, how, does it make you feel proud at all, considering where the Lionesses have gone in the last sort of 30, 40 years? Absolutely. So, um, so proud for, for myself, not only being the captain of that 84 team, you know, we, we were the first ever senior men or women's team to get to a European final. Um, and we are so proud that the Lionesses are where they are now, you know, today. Um, it, it's just great. And, and we just like to think we were that small stepping stone to help women's football where, where it's reached today, to be quite honest. You certainly were. And I believe you've been speaking to the Sweden captain from that very match back in 1984 before the tournament and, and also walking to Old Trafford from Crewe. So can you just tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, it was it was lovely to meet up with Annette again after thirty eight years. Um, 
we we did a, a walk through history with um, LinkedIn, who are one of the uh, sponsors of the Euros, right. and we set off from Gresty Road at Crewe, which is now the Mornflake Stadium, um, because we played our first semi-final against Denmark there back in '84, which we won two one. Um, so over two days, we we walked with not only Annette, there was um, a few inspirational women footballers, um, and we were just talking about our experiences and and basically just trying to highlight the importance of having visible female role models, you know, for for the youngsters to look up to, and they can then believe that they can achieve. What, what we've done basically and it was great to be part of that campaign. Fantastic and just lastly I think we all talk about the growth of women's football and I think sometimes the actual football can get lost in that you know narrative that debate but it's great to see so many young girls families going to these games because realistically it is about as you said giving people role models and that's the overriding thing that's uh, coming out of this, I think. Yeah, absolutely, and it, it's great to see because the, the matches I've been to, it's been one big happy family. You know, there's been old people there, there's been young people, young girls, young boys, um, all thoroughly enjoying it. And and in the fan parks, you know, it, it's just tremendous. I think it's been one one huge success, and certainly from my point of view, you know, the the young girls in Hull and club ambassador for Hull City Ladies and, and the youngsters that are coming through to our club asking to play football is, is great, absolutely.